Now that our audio is cut up on the timeline and basically where we want it, now what I want to be able to do is bring in the actual footage and look for those interviews, those sound bites, so I can get my main audio completely finished and get it trimmed up and make it tight. So then later on I can add B-roll. So in order to do this, obviously my very first one is going to come in right here at this first break where she sits there and talks about the fact that functioning pump houses in the United States. Okay, that's one of the oldest functioning pump houses in the United States. I'm going to come up to my footage here, and here's my pump house footage, and once again, I either just double click on it or drag it over and drop it down in. There's several different ways to be able to scrub through video, either on the timeline or up here in the player window, and this is the perfect time to talk about it because of the fact that we're sitting here trying to find it. First off, if you're a mouse person, you can grab this controller right here and be able to rip through very, very quickly and then be able to use like the frame forward, frame back, rewind, fast forward. And then when you're stop and when you're ready to set ins and outs, you have the in and out buttons right here. And of course, if you're screen at a little bit higher resolution, you'd see them all sitting right there. And you could use those buttons and then either override or insert to the timeline and never, ever touch the keyboard if you didn't want to. However, if you're a keyboard user and one of those individuals who think that the mouse is inherently evil, that we should still be using DOS 1.0, you can use the keyboard all you want to. Your JKL keys... In other words, L will, will sit there every time you hit it, will go up. Of course, K is pause, and then J does the exact opposite in the back. You can use those. Your arrow keys will move a frame at a time, depending upon the right arrow or left arrow. However, if you hold down shift and select the arrow keys, it will move two frames at a time, so it'll allow you to move very, very quickly. And then the I key and the O key on the keyboard are your ins and outs, and like we talked about before, the left and right bracket keys are insert and overwrite edit onto the timeline. So it is quite possible that you could go through and never touch the mouse if you really didn't want to touch the mouse and be able to get through and do things. The third way of being able to scrub through the video very simply is, is if you have like a jog shuttle from JL Cooper or something of that nature and have it programmed and be able to work that way. For those people who are used to linear editing, sometimes this is a very, very comfortable and very easy way of feeling. The fourth way, however, and I've said over the years that it's not in the manual and I really don't know if I can say that anymore because I haven't really searched it out, but this is kind of the ultra cool way of going through the video up here. If I place the mouse over either one of the overlay windows and I hold down the right mouse button and draw a circle. Just like a jog shuttle, it's going to go through. The faster I go, the faster it goes. The slower I go, the slower it goes. Kind of cool, huh? And watch this. If I sit there and, and find the place where I want and then hold down the left mouse button and just drag a little bit to the right, watch my end point right here. It sets an end point. And then if I sit there and hold down the left mouse button and just drag it to the left a little bit, now I have an out point. So in other words, I can with the mouse, without touching any buttons even, be able to go in, scrub through, set ins and outs, and then to drop it down to the timeline, I just have to do a downward motion. Now, I'm not going to do that right now, obviously, because I'm looking for a sound bite, and this is just regular. So I'm going to go ahead and do a mixture of a little bit of both here. Oh, and just so you know, you can actually type things in, such as my endpoint right here is at 26 seconds, 28 frames. So if I just click on any one of the numbers and type in 26, 28, you'll see that the semicolon, because I am uh, not working in progressive mode, I'm working in drop frame, automatically has a semicolon put in. If I hit enter, it automatically sets all the leading zeros. I don't have to say 00, zero colon, 00, zero colon, 26 semicolon, 28. I can just type in the numbers and it'll automatically place all of those zeros in there for me. So I'm not sure where my out is, so I'm going to go ahead and play it. They got engineers together and, and developed a pump house, and they started that operation of building the pump house in 1902. Okay, so 1902. And I can see that I jumped to another one right there, so I'm just going to back it up with my left arrow key, and then I'm going to set my out point right there. And then I'm going to use the left bracket key. I'm going to insert this one in because watch what it does to the reporter track. It goes ahead and shoves the reporter track down and let's see what happens. That is one of the oldest functioning pump houses in the United States. They got engineers together and, and developed a pump house. And they started that operation of building the pump house in 1902. 
Today, the only change is... Okay, so there we have it right there. Now, there is one thing, though, that I didn't do that I wanted to do. And that is, is I'm going to go ahead and set my controller back here again. And then I'm going to turn on A2 because I do want the natural sound you're getting from the camera. This is coming from a microphone. Uh, if you want the natural sound with it, you would turn A2 back on again. I already have my in and out up here in the source window. So this time I'm going to hit the right bracket key, which is overwrite. And see, look at that. It just overwrote right over the top of it. United States. They got engineers. And now I have my, ma my natural sound from the camera sitting below it as well as the sound up above. So let's go and do the next one, okay? Here she is right here. She's talking about... And then in addition to one more pump in 1959. Okay, 1959. So once again, I know that my second sound bite starts at 4301. So I'm just going to come in, type in 4301, hit enter. 48 is what it is. Sorry about that. So 4801, hit enter. And now let's listen again. Uh, this is one behind me is one of the originals. That, that they started with. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take that last part out. So I'm going to hold down shift, hit the left arrow key, just come back somewhat. Listen again. Okay, that's right before he says that they started with. I'm going to set my out point and once again the left bracket key. And all I'm doing here to do my sound bites is setting I O left bracket key. I O left bracket key. And let me look for my last one here. My last one starts at about 59, so I'm going to bring it down. Notice that my controller right here, I can actually type in 59 right here, 00, zero and hit it, and I can listen. From 83 to 85. From 83 to 85. <laughs> left arrow right here. I'm going to set my endpoint. Listen. From 83 to 85. We had huge floods in Utah. And in this pump house, we had water that was over three feet. So the water couldn't get into the windings of the motors and ruin them. Okay, right there, I'm going to set my out point. And once again, left bracket key and drop it straight down. And so basically right now what we have, guys, is our B-roll. It's just as simple as a three-point edit. It's setting an in and an out up on my source. So I have the duration of what I want. And then my controller down here is my third point. It replaces an endpoint. You don't have to hit in in order to have an endpoint down to where your sound bite's going to go. Wherever the cursor is, it's already going to be there. So that kind of takes a step out of having to sit there and set that endpoint and then be able to do it. And then you just insert edit it straight in. So we've cut up our audio and our B-roll is set in and we're done.